Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to use Cypress to write unit tests that runs in the browser and yet can use Cypress Synon.js library that's included. So imagine I have this function and it's an asynchronous function and it sleeps for a number of milliseconds and then returns a number and it returns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we make a function that sleeps for 500 milliseconds and counts to 3. So how do we test it? It's a synchronous function, so we need an asynchronous test. And to get the value by retrying calling the function until it returns an expected value, in my Cypress recurse I've written a retry function. So retry calling the function. Uh, the second parameter is a predicate. So how do we know what we should stop when the value returned from the function equals to 3? Okay, and the result, we have to await retry because it's asynchronous function itself because it calls asynchronous function. And how do we confirm that it works? Well, we can use chai because it's bundled with Cypress, so it's available. So result, you know, equal 3. Okay, so notice the test runs for almost 2 seconds because every iteration uh, slips for 500 milliseconds right here. And then it yields 3. And we can provide a couple of options right here and one of them is a log. And by default the log is using console log. So we have to open console and it shows that attempt 1 out of 100. So by default Retry will try 100 times. We can limit ourselves to, let's say, 5 attempts. So by default, the value was rejected, then rejected, and then finally, when it returned 3, that passed our predicate. Okay, so we can do better. We can provide our own log function where we will get parameters like attempt, and maybe value and successful. And it's a function where we can do whatever we want to log it. So each attempt, we can say console attempt this uh, value, this number successful and, uh, and this. Okay, so attempt successful. And the only thing we need to do is to make sure we write correct JavaScript and we can pass this log instead of true, we can pass our own function. And now we're using our function to log everything. How do we know that we logged everything? Well, this is where Synon library included with Cypress comes in handy. We know that under the hood we're using console log. So let's spy on it. Console log by on console object log method. And at the end of the day, we expect this spy to be called price, meaning three times. Okay, so it was called three times, but maybe it was called accidentally. Or for example, if we just say true, then it still uses console log. So we don't know if it used our log function or the real one. So this is where we can replace a spy with a stop. So let's take the same log and this time we'll just create a stop. So stop returns you a function. So you can put it right here and it will be called every time it's used, right? Um, so we can then check that it was really called three times. Okay, so this is great. It was called three times. But let's confirm the parameters, okay? So we can uh, expect log, let's say first call, args to deep equal, and it's an array, and right now we don't know what's inside the array, so let's just say empty. But there was one argument. Retry calls user provided log function with a single argument. And right now it's kind of hidden, so why don't we show it? So by default, child truncates the messages longer than certain length. So let's increase the length. And now we'll see the full array. So 
The log was called with an array of arguments, and the first argument had a temp 1, limit 5, so all the fields in this object, value of 1, successful, false. Okay, and we know that it was called three times, so why don't we check the arguments to each call? So, second call, attempt 2, value was also 2, also unsuccessful. And the third call, attempt number 3, value was 3, and it was successful. Okay, so this is how you would write asynchronous unit tests that run in the browser using Cypress. You can use Synon.js bundled with Cypress. You can use Chai Assertion also bundled with Cypress. And if you need to um, retry an asynchronous function until it matches a predicate, then you can try this retry function that I implemented in my Cypress Recurse plugin.